Now we're back at Ray Odom here in Little Rock with Chris, who wants to talk, let everyone know about GuardLink. GuardLink. Um, what's it about? So GuardLink, in years past, GuardLink is basically a point-to-point -point tap style communications and network set up for safety devices. Uh, the magic, gray smoke, wizardry happens inside of our relays uh, in conjunction with our taps. So in years past, one of the main constraints around emergency stops or safety circuitry was the amount of time that you spent wiring it up and then on the other side of that, what, what it took to troubleshoot it. So troubleshooting is usually around 70% of the time that a machine is down. That's what it takes in order to figure out just what's wrong. Uh, what this does is instead of going through a line of e-stops, say like we have 10 e-stops in line uh, and one of them, somebody decides to push an e-stop. We have an e-stop pushed, it's activated. Before we had this technology, a maintenance guy or a production guy would have to go down and cycle and, and test each one of those e-stops to figure out which one was wrong, uh, which one was activated or which one had fallen out. So what happens now is we have a single four wire trunk line that goes from our GSR DG relay to our, to our taps. The magic inside of the taps is even though we've got four wires going in, four wires coming out through the, through the trunk, basically a, a, uh, a parallel circuit as, as it's wired, when we, when we tie it into our AOP and into our, our Logix controllers, we can actually see on our HMI, get visual representation of what's going on. We know right now on our north side that our e-stop has been pushed, okay? If we don't want to do it on the HMI with our Premier integration platforms, it's a visual representation on the actual guard link taps themselves. Those tabs have an input indicator and a link integrity indicator so when you push the e-stop we know that this device has been activated okay but we also know that this device is still good whatever this device is which would actually be inside here if you look and see all of these taps are still act are, are still in this in a safe state so they're flashing green but the link is dead right which means that our system is now in a safe state now whenever I close this device and I actuate this release the e-stop and the circuit resets all of our devices go green on the link side all of our links down here are dead are, are green rather than red if you can watch on the HMI on the front side Whenever I actuate this, here, I'm gonna walk around this way. I'm gonna actuate this light curtain and you can actually see the visual representation on the screen, but you can also see that something is triggering this tap right there in the middle. Clear it, it goes green. So it cuts your troubleshooting down to probably 70% of the time that it would take in order to, to troubleshoot your uh, e-stop or your safety circuit. Chris, that was absolutely amazing. Good stuff. Good product. Appreciate it.